Britain. What does it mean for restrictions? Well, Primetime asked four Irish people abroad to document what's happening where they live. And we begin in Israel. Prime Time asked me to show you what life is like emerging here from the pandemic. We're about to get onto the train to uh, Tel Aviv. The country's in the process of opening up, so everybody that has a, a green pass on your smartphone um, or a piece of paper, and basically you, you present that and you can get into bars, nightclubs, restaurants, hotels, that kind of thing. So the, the green pass, it shows basically that you've had your doses, it shows what type of vaccine you had, what date you had your doses. And so when you go into a gym, for example, um, just like in the bar, there's somebody at the door and they're actually like, you know, checking for your green pass. So, uh, so far they've been pretty strict in that respect across all the, the places I've been. Coming into the train station in Tel Aviv here, I have my Tav Yahok green pass here and I'm just presenting it to the uh, security person. And as you can see, they are scanning the passes of the various people here. If you're outdoors, if you're taking public transport, if you're in a taxi, bus, train, you basically have to be wearing uh, a face mask of, of some kind. We're making a pilgrimage to Molly Bloom's, the main Irish bar in Tel Aviv, and you can see Tel Aviv behind me here. Outside your grand, you don't need the, the mask, and inside you have to present your, uh, your green pass, like there's signages on the door where the guy's standing here, so people will be handing in their, uh, their smartphone and their piece of paper in order to get in. 60% of the population has had their jab um, and it's been harder for authorities to convince the younger people to get vaccinated. It's, it's tricky, Israel isn't at 100%. In Tel Aviv, the, some of the bars, the Tel Aviv municipality was doing a shots for shot campaign. So you'd basically get, you know, a shot of alcohol um, in exchange for getting the vaccine. Israel is going, is going into uh, the Passover religious festival during which a lot of traditionally people would visit each other's houses so there is definitely a concern amongst policymakers here that there could be a fourth wave um, if the restrictions aren't adhered to. But I think definitely with so much of the uh, population vaccinated, there definitely is sort of a feeling here that uh, the country is emerging and returning to normal.